June 30th, half seven in the morning. I'm in Gatwick Airport. I've just checked the bike in and the nerves are kicking in, I'll be honest. I'm sure many of you have experienced this. You plan for so long, you think about it so much, and then when it happens, it doesn't feel real. Got it? All good. So now I've got about 20 minutes before I get my transfer to Canmore. So I've just noticed an outfitter over the road. I'm going to see if I can get my bear spray and my gas. It's just breathtaking, all of the scenery. I mean, wherever you look, I've got my bear spray and I had a, a lesson on how to use it. But they make it look so violent and you know, friendly bears. So I'm just coming out onto this trail, make sure everything feels all right. And it does so far. It takes a while to get the belt tension right when you take the wheel off. This is going to be epic. This whole trip is going to be epic. I had a comment from one of my subscribers saying, enjoy it, take your time. Everything I need to do or everything I have to do, I tend to do it too quickly. I'm really determined not to do that. Tragedy struck. My chain came off. No, not my chain. A wheel or something right outside this uh, brewery so I had to stop I was dehydrated so I had to get a nice IPA so I'm all packed up ready to go the bike's done I'm so nervous it's ridiculous but I'll be fine a bit I thought I'd tell you a little bit about the Great Divide it's 2700 miles 61,000 meters of elevation ascent and descent. I start in Alberta, go through British Columbia, Montana, Idaho, Wyoming, Colorado, and I finish on the border with Mexico in New Mexico at a place called um, Antelope Wells. I've got it all written here. You'd think I'd know. I kind of do, but I can never remember the order of the states. This is just amazing, yet again. This water looks so enticing. So I've made it to Buller hike, hike a bike campsite. Awesome little spot. Katmandu style curry. I am hungry. I haven't eaten enough today. I'm not holding up much hope for this. It's very watery. Meh. It'll do. All set up. There's lockers here, which I'm going to use. I've got everything in here, including my toothpaste, which people forget. So I'm doing all I can. So there we go, end of day one. What an epic ride. And it's amazing because every day should be like that. Morning, it's about half six. Just made a coffee. I'm surprised I slept on my first night in the middle of nowhere threat of bears. I know I'll get over that, but I'm quite pleased. The sun is nice. I'm gonna get packed up and get going. Time for a break. Have a bar or something. Anyway, this is a great spot. And I think I'm off that horrible, gravelly, dusty stuff, which is nice, because I was getting fed up of that. I'm sure I can feel it on my throat. 20 miles an hour. Fastest I've been on trail so far. 
Huge. I was just talking to a couple and they said they've seen a grizzly every day since they've been here four days ago. And I said, I want to see one. And I said, you will see one. I want to see one, but I also don't. I'm at the campsite. I'm on my own again, which I'd rather not be, but I don't know. I'd rather be in a spot like this. This is all part of it. You can find nice places to camp along the way. It's not just about the ride. I just realised this is only day three, so I've had two nights out and this is the longest bike packing trip I've ever done already. How insane is that? I am in the middle of nowhere, seriously. This is an old logging road or something, I don't know. There's just nobody. Nobody's here. It's wild. Love it though. First one. Looked like a bear with its cub. Definitely a brown bear. Ah oh well, I wanted to see one. Oh my god. Twenty-two miles in for the day, eleven o'clock, and my legs are very tired. Every sort of ascent now. I'm doing it in the lowest gear and the last one I pushed it up. So I've decided to stay here tonight. It's just perfect. I can't not. There's a campsite over there. I'm in the library now, stealing a bit of electricity for my power banks. And then right over there is a perfect resupply. I'm out. It's a nice campsite. Alford was a great place. The big climb coming out. My legs are hurting already. I don't know why I'm surprised. As somebody who's never really done much bikepacking is finding the longest mountain bike route in the world hard. I knew it would be. We got a place called Sparwood in about 25 miles for lunch and then stop at Fernie. You're supposed to shout when you're on the trail. When you're going fast anyway, to let the bears know you're coming. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I sing that. I don't feel so stupid when I'm singing. Let's see if you can uh, remember what that was from. So this is another amazing road and uh, it's very undulating, like, uh, like yesterday really, but still extremely spectacular. This is the worst surface on the trail so far. It's been going on for quite a while coming out of Sparwood. And I think this path takes us all the way more or less for a long way towards Fernie. So I hope it gets better. and warm that ice cream. I deserve this. I just called the hostel to see if they had tent spots, but they don't. But they do have pods. I don't really know what a pod is, but I'm gonna find out. Okay, one and a half. I've had my one and a half beers and it's not because I'm half cut but I love Canada I absolutely love it I've never seen anywhere nicer cleaner more friendly and I was just thinking tomorrow I've got 35 miles to go before I can get some 
a resupply. And if you're worried on this trail about things like resupplies, just don't, because you don't even need to think about it. There's so many places you get to. I think I had it in my head, it'd be like the Appalachian Trail where you have to really plan everything through. Here, you just, just do it. You don't have to worry. Just wherever you go, there's something. The cycling, I'm finding harder than hiking though. My legs are, well, there's just not much left in them. I'm pushing through, like 58 miles a day is big for me, but I'm pushing it up some of these hills. I'm not afraid to admit it. I'm a hiker, not a biker, really. By the time this is done, I'll be a biker. Starbucks for breakfast. So this is day five. I'm trying not to rush. I've got plenty of time today. I've got plenty of time every day. With every downhill, there's got to be a climb. But this one was nice and gradual. Ice cream. Root beer slushy. I've got a chicken burger from here, which I'm going to pack out. Because I was full after my ice cream. Such a child. And now this. I met up with a couple of guys, Ian and Trevor, that started pretty much the same time as me. They work as bike tour guides. And one was working in Scotland last year. So interesting. I'll ride with them for a bit. Been a lot of road riding today. Sort of half considering going all the way to Roosville today. It's just been so easy. And that's uh, right on the border. Be a shame to see Canada go though. Because it has been epic. But then Montana will be too. No doubt. So day five is done. This is the lake where we're camped. Absolutely beautiful. I'm right on the border with the USA, Roosville. So that'll be the first job in the morning. And then I'll be in Montana. I'm all packed up, ready to go. This was a really nice site. Really, really nice. I slept well. Now to get over the border. Montana, here I am. And the landscape has changed immediately. It's incredible, really. It's all like open prairie, is it? I don't know. Just open fields, grazing land. Very beautiful, though. Looks like these tiny little horses are selling eggs. Whenever I can, I sit like this, sort of off the saddle, on descents anyway, just to save the arse, you know, which I haven't had a problem with, remarkably. I'm surprised. Everyone that comes past waves, every single person without fail. Very friendly place, Montana, like my setup. Ingenious. That's what I think, anyway. It's a pretty big storm, sort of all around me, skirting me, and I'm uh, going up over a pass of some sort.
made it to the summit. That was no joke. I think I'm at uh, 1,620 meters. I know there's a long descent before another big climb, but I'm not doing that today. Why did I ride so far? Just tired and stupid. It's half six. I don't know where my camp spot is. Check that out. What a view to wake up to. Just drying all my stuff out. We're next to a river, so everything gets wet. That's where I'm heading today. And I know there's a big climb first thing, but I'm good with that. I think my legs are getting used to it. Nearly at the top of this climb. And then it's downhill all the way into Whitefish. And there's a lake down the bottom, which I am definitely gonna jump in. Quick drink, quick rest, down to the lake, jump in. Whitefish library upload ice cream root beer. I want a root beer. God, ice cold root beer. I can't think beyond that now. Root beer. I'm in Whitefish. That's a burger place. I'm on 99% done. Found a nice little hotel. I'm just so hot. I might struggle to rehydrate all day. I can reset, I can do my laundry, recharge all my equipment. What a day though. And Whitefish is really nice, I like it. So I can leave here tomorrow, go and explore the lake, get some breakfast here, and um, get some food, resupply. I think I'm semi-delirious, if I'm honest. So I really need this. Oh now I can have a cold shower. Anyway, I shall see you in the morning. Chalet Motel. I loved it here. Really nice. The woman here, ever, really helpful. I definitely made a big mistake yesterday. I didn't drink enough. And I thought I had. Yeah, lesson learned. I'm gonna make sure I drink plenty. When I watched some of the footage I filmed yesterday, you can tell I was, yeah, it wasn't good. Anyway, I'm good now. There's something that America, Canada, and the UK all have in common. And that is the desolate trampoline. You see so many. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen anybody on one. Who knows? It could be that immediately after delivery, somebody got their arm trapped in the springs and broke it and then it was just left to rot, rust away, return to the earth where they belong. Ten road miles later, I'm in Columbia Falls. So, just gonna go in here for a coffee and a quick game of poker. Wish me luck. Didn't go well, trip's over. Thanks for watching, it's been a blast. This is where this comes in handy, my uh, insulated bottle. Stay cool for a while. At least I can drink now. Oh, that's good. Cyclists, welcome to camp. It's a good job, really. Because, yeah, I'm about done for the day. I think I got it right. Just a short day. I don't need days off. 
if I'm going to do that, I'm just going to get bored and it's just the way I am. It's just the coolest thing ever. It's just someone's garden. I don't think anyone's here. Unreal. What a fantastic place. The lady that owns it just came out, gave me a nice cold Coke. This is rosy. And um, she put beers in a cooler for me. I can pitch my tent anywhere here. And uh, she won't take any money. So, oh, I've got power over there, toilet. Does uh, reinforce your views of humanity when you meet people like this. Yeah, I'm very grateful. I made it out with difficulty to such a nice place to stay. Nice rolling paved roads, can't complain. But it's a beautiful day, good start. I'm at this gas station in Ferndale. She's struggling to stay hydrated still. Nice big climb, six and a half miles, 525 meters, about halfway up. I was looking and um, when, the, when the ascents get really steep, I can actually push the same speed that I can ride. Um, so I am pushing on those bits because it gives me time out of the saddle. So yeah, on this, it's, I've got green, yellow and red grades. I can cycle the green yellows and the reds I just push. But when I started, I was pushing on the yellows, so I think the strength is coming. Anyway, must press on. This bike isn't going to push itself up. Climb done. Now for the descent. Well, I just had a warning from Trevor saying there's lots of trees down and potholes. And uh, yeah, I think he's got a flat, so I'll be careful on the way down. So I made it to camp. I didn't film much because I bumped into um, Trevor and Ian and a couple of other guys who were down there. That's the campsite. I'm sure they wouldn't mind, but I don't like filming people. Before I did YouTube, I would have hated people filming me. But what a spot, perfect. It's threatened rain all day, but I haven't felt any. Montana is empty, like seriously empty. I've been riding, I don't know, two and a half hours. I haven't seen a soul, not one single person. Lots of rabbits. Yeah, it's looking good. just filled up with water at the bottom of this climb and that might be all I've got uh, to last me through tonight. If you stop for a microsecond you have 20 mosquitoes. I'm wondering what that would be a footprint of. Something toothy. <laughs> awesome. I was starting to worry. Oh, I'm going to fill up. Yeah, everything. There's an awesome looking mountain range. I haven't found any camp spots. And I'm like 200 meters from the top. So I reckon I'm going to go to the top. And um, I don't know, if there's a space up there, I'll camp. Because that'd be quite cool. But I think there's only a 10 mile descent to a campsite and I'm kind of thinking getting that done I 
I'm pushing it over this. Instant death. This is about the most stunning view I have ever seen. It's absolutely beyond belief. It's quarter past seven and I'm just dawdling. I just, I don't want to rush. That's right, I think. I have no idea where I'm staying tonight, but I just can't rush through this. It's just incredible. Na 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 Do 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 Ma na ma na do 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 Ma na ma na do 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 So I just got a message from Trevor to say that there's free camping behind the ice cream place in Sealing Lake and they've got burgers and ice cream. I'd be surprised if they're still open, but I hope they are. After a day like today, a burger. Oh my God. The second half of today, that descent and all, everything from that on has been the best trail I have ever ridden. It's just been obscenely good. Ice cream palace. Free camping and they were open. Burger, onion rings, huckleberry shake. Awesome. 71 and a half miles. 2380 meters of elevation that's huge for me so i'm gonna eat this and crash tomorrow ovando i think it's only 30 miles all packed up excellent place to stay very grateful to these people for letting us stay here feeding me burgers i'm so glad i did that climb yesterday evening and it was nice and cool because if i'd have been doing it now I'd have been dying because it's boiling. I've been using these um, electrolyte tablets. I've learned that you have to have them. That's just it. So I'm going to pick up a load of them. Just put the drone up. And as soon as I did, two guys from Canada came up behind me and rode through the shot with me. So yeah, it's nice. I try not to get the drone up when anyone's around because I don't know, I think drones can be a little bit obnoxious when you're trying to enjoy nature and then you've got that buzzing, but I make sure no one's about and I send it high so you can't really tell it's there. But um, I didn't expect to see anyone. You go. Hopefully it was a good shot. Said population about 50, dogs over 100. This is a small town. I love this town already. This is the one, it's quite famous. It's got like a jailhouse you can stay in or a teepee or a cabin. This is the jail that Ian and Trevor are staying in. I would have had it. Beat me to it, damn them. But yeah, hotel, better. I'm living it up. All I need, perfect. Now for a shower. Apparently this is a 15 minute walk or a five minute bike ride. Fancy a walk. Wow, that place was busy. If we had bars like that in Britain, I'd go out drinking. This whole trip so far, has exceeded every expectation. It's just magic, honestly. If, you, if you're thinking of doing it, just do it. It's just incredible. I know I'm only 500 miles in, but it's just incredible. So 
So there we have it, Ovando. A tiny town in the middle of nowhere, put on the map by the Tor Divide. There's no way between them. So that'll be my uh, first climb, but it's been super easy so far, which is nice. Twenty past nine, 15 miles. Probably the easiest 15 miles on the whole trail so far. My strategy today for hydration. I've got electrolytes in this water bottle, electrolytes in this one, just water in the other one. See if I can get today done without arriving with a massive headache. I'm feeling like my head is full of cotton wool. logging operation going on. I love these trucks, man. Always love big American trucks. Probably because my dad drove trucks. I'm nearly at the top of the first climb. The guy just passed me in his pickup going up and told me he's got some snacks and water for me for when I get to the top extra motivation to keep going yeah so that guy was with the adventure cycling association whose maps i used incidentally and uh he's leading a party of 40 people doing this but uh lightweight they sort of all their stuff is carried for them and uh yeah, he was up there with snacks and drinks for him so he let me have some so he's a king a prince among men Lincoln, just need a store, get some drinks, quick snack, and keep moving, I reckon. Well, that was an interesting little town. That's just the kind of place I want to stay, but I can't stop at 30 miles. I just saw the um, Canadian guys, Joe and John, at the grocery store. I had a chat with them, they're staying there. And now, 22 miles with a big pass to Llama Ranch. That was brutal. Definitely the hardest climb yet. A lot of pushing towards the end, but the positives, my legs are definitely stronger. And on top of that, I don't feel bad. I don't feel, I haven't got a headache. Um, I mean, I'm tired. I haven't got the mushy head. I think I'm on top of my rehydration game. That'll do. I've got a downhill now to Llama Ranch, which I'm really looking forward to getting to. I've no idea what to expect when I get there. I just know it's supposed to be a cool place. I think this is it. Yep, this guy is definitely flagging me down. Thank you, thank you, kind sir. I'm here, quite a few people here. And there's a party later. We're gonna have a fire, something to eat. I've had a few beers, this is the coolest place. I knew it would be party time. It's 20 to eight. My bedtime's usually at eight o'clock. It's gonna be a late night for me. Great place to sleep last night. All free, they don't charge. They ask you to pay it forward, which I'm definitely gonna do. I'll do something nice for somebody today or tomorrow. I'm gonna get packed up and then head to Helena, which is 40 miles, I believe. So not a bad day, which I need, because yesterday was, was tough and my legs are feeling it. I think I'm gonna have to take a, a short day or a day off at some point to recover. I woke up this morning, I was thinking, I don't wanna ride my bike 
which is is definitely a sign of a day off. I'm struggling to get out of this place. It's too nice. But there's a couple here I've been speaking to, and they're doing the whole tour on a tandem with a dog. I mean, have you ever seen anything like that? It was custom made, and they're averaging 30 some miles a day on this. Ah. And here they are. <laughs> I'm Tim. Tim. I'm Pamela. And, and this, this is Brooklyn. This is Brooklyn. Brooklyn. She's a teacup Yorkie, isn't teacup she? Teacup Yorkie, yeah. yeah. More pushing today. Not only are these uh, paths steep, they're extremely rocky. So I find it really difficult. To ride them. I'm sure competent mountain bikers can do it. I can't. Made it to the top of that first climb of the day. I'm not eating properly, I know that. I need to eat more. It's strange. I'm just not hungry. I think I was the same on the Appalachian Trail and that wore off. Another reason for pushing the bike up these hills. I have got saddle sores. They've started. They're not terrible at the moment, but I've got to be careful. So there. There's an update. The red ones are the best. Orange ones are the worst. And I'm right. I don't care what anyone says. I think that's implying that the red one has just eaten the green one's arm. It's just pure cannibalism. Last climb done. That's just a long descent into Helena. Which should be fun. It looks like a decent road. This campground is supposed to be just down here. It's called Mountain Bike Bike City. That's my pad. Just booked. It's fifteen dollars, which isn't bad. There's showers, laundry place to hang out here. They have to remind you. I have to make myself eat breakfast. I'm really not hungry. But yeah, I need the energy. Climb one done. That really wasn't that bad. I think I'm feeling uh, pretty good today. Got a big climb to come anyway, so I'm gonna have some cashews and then do this nice long downhill and then start the big climb back up. Half past 12 so far 1000 meters of ascent. I'm actually feeling pretty strong I don't know whether it's because I've got on top of this um, hydration thing, but uh, yeah, I'm feeling good. I'm gonna eat this crispy thing. That's four servings. I mean, give me a break. That's 640 calories, which is great. And then I'm gonna have some of these um, Sour Patch Cannibals. And then keep going. I've got 100 meters of climbing to get to this little brow and then I go down again and then I've got God knows what, but it looks hideous. It looks hideous. things I do for the shot. Made it to the top of Lava Mountain. That was no joke. That was the most difficult climb yet. It was uh, ridiculous. I don't even know why it's on the route. You couldn't ride most of it. I don't think anybody could, not just me. And now I've got a bit of a descent. 
and I think this descent takes me all the way to Basin. So yeah, I'm hoping it's just a nice easy descent, but I think it's going to be a difficult one because it's going to be lumpy and bumpy, but we'll see. We'll see. And there's a cafe down there. I'm hoping that's open because if it is, I'm going to eat lots of stuff. Yep, it's bumpy. It's still down though. So bumpy and down is better than bumpy and up. Made it to Basin. I'm in the community hall. I've just ordered some food from the cafe and there's a bar next door. Couldn't ask for more really. Morning. Had a good night. This place has everything you could need. Now I'm gonna head to Butte. I've got a warm showers place lined up, which I've never done. So I'm gonna get in, see if that works out. So I'm gonna head off now. I've had breakfast in the cafe, which is lovely. I think it's seen better days. About three weeks this one lasted, which to be fair in tripod years, about 87, something like that, did well. But it's time to be put out to pasture, I think. Hopefully I can get a new one in Butte. They're called dust devils. Hi there. How are you doing? Good, you're good. You too, cheers. I know I'm getting stronger, my legs. I've been waiting for this climb to start all day, all morning. I've been going up sort of uphill, but waiting for it to come and I just checked and I'm nearly at the top. I didn't even realize I was climbing. So uh, that's good. All made out of horseshoes. Pretty cool. So I called the warm showers guy and he's just amazing. He's not even going to be there. He's given me access to his house. Shower, kitchen, laundry, a bedroom, and uh, even leftovers in the fridge. All for nothing. Just wild. I'm gonna have to get into the hosting thing when I uh, get back. So you've got to pay this stuff forward. So uh, it's an inspiration. It's coming up to the end of my day off. I didn't really spend any time outside. I just ended up crashing. I think I must have needed it. But check this out. What an awesome place. A workshop. I mean, I've never met the guy that's let me stay here, but he's in my top. 50, 40. It's probably in the top 40 greatest people in the world. Good morning. Just had a little road ride out of Butte and I think I'm starting a climb now. We've got something called Fleecer Ridge today, uh, which I think is a notorious descent, which is very steep, which I will be pushing it down, but I think everybody does. I think it has been ridden down, but by professionals and I'm not a professional I don't know if you know I'm gonna try today I've realized that I am rushing strangely by watching my own videos it's odd I'm like a viewer so I was watching myself in the last video thinking you know I I looked exhausted and hot and tired and a little bit um, stressed and I think it's because I've got this compulsion to get everywhere as soon as possible and I can't think why. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna take my time. It's about 50 miles for the day. And I figured this out by watching my own videos. How amazing. It's an old railroad line. Oh, well, this is nice. It's not gonna last. But whilst it does, I'm enjoying it.
all these boulders I was just reading were created or knocked loose because of hydraulic mining, which they used to do in the 1850s or started in the 1850s to get gold. It is an amazing landscape, but not natural. This is a cool trail, single track, very up and down, very bumpy, but uh, different to anything so far, which is nice. I didn't get a new one. I tried to jump to its own death. Not today. I met a couple out riding earlier and uh, they are doing a bit of trail magic. So I went back to their van and had a Snickers and an orange, which was lovely. And a can of cold drink, ice cold, which was ideal. It's hot again. Well, I made it to the top. I've just started the descent. It's not too steep at the moment, but I know it's going to be. Oh, nice views. I mean, everywhere you go is nice views. It's so spoiled by it. It won't look like anything, but I can't tell you how steep this is. It's insane. It's hard enough pushing it. Whatever I thought this would be like, I was wrong. It is much harder. Whew. Now that was an experience. I can't imagine pushing my bike up, which of course northbounders have to do. I don't know if I could do it. I can't tell you how much I love these little tiny towns. It's just awesome. The bars, the, the people, everything is so American. <laughs> this is the way to see America, doing this trip. So the community hall is back down that way. But I thought it was rude not to have a beer. A Montana something IPA, it was really good. Please be open. Ah. Fantastic. I mean, how cool is this? I've got bathrooms, I've got power, I've got Wi-Fi, and they want $5. It's insane. So I'm ready to go, 57 miles to Bannock State Park, 3,600 and something feet of ascent, mostly gradual, and it's just one climb for the whole day. So yeah, it'll be interesting to see how I get on with this actually, just a, a consistent long climb. Miraculously, I found a nut and a bolt, which will keep this thing alive for a little bit longer. You can only have something for so long, and it's so broken that you want to keep it going. Feel some sort of responsibility towards it. Well, that's this. No doubt when I find a new one, I'll discard it like an old sock. But until then, it's my responsibility. Just one big long road ride this morning. It's a very quiet road. The scenery is spectacular. Yeah, I can do this now and then. So I made it to the top. Now I've got a huge downhill. Well, that was like a 20 mile descent. It was incredible. Now I've got a bit of a flat ride to Bannock. Today has been a challenge for the saddle sores. 
because I've been climbing so much and I can't get out the saddle. They're managed, I, I'm managing them. I'm hoping they'll settle down. They're not getting worse. deserted gold mining village fascinating well worth a visit especially because it's free you know with camping eight dollars very good ramen for dinner noodles i'm gonna chop in some of this sausage Garnish. Have you ever seen anything more delicious? It's really not that bad. I have no idea what I'm doing tomorrow yet. But I've got plenty of food, bars. I think I'm just going to ride until I don't want to ride anymore. But it's been a good day. I really enjoyed it. It was a nice change. And there was some spectacular scenery. All in all, I'm happy, but tired. It's so dry, arid out here. It's just me, nobody else. this one to blow over. Definitely not going to ride towards it. I think it's blowing off over that way. The wind is strong. Found a camp spot, it's actually a nice place. So now I'm gonna have my dinner, instant mash with pepperoni, but it's gonna be cold because I've run out of gas, but I'm tired. And tomorrow Lima for a resupply, and I don't know what else. If it's got a cafe or something, I'll eat there. Epic day though, I mean, some amazing views, and this is a cool place. This is an epic part of the trail and I have a tailwind as well, which is amazing. I don't, I hardly have to pedal even on the, uh, the minor uphills. It's just a joy. So I just passed a northbounder who stayed in Lima last night and he said there's a hotel there for $68. And there's a really good steakhouse. You can buy gas there, resupply. I think if, if there's rooms, I'm gonna stay there. Sounds awesome. I know it's a short day, but who cares? Do you know, I'm really getting into this, just going with the flow. If I push in any way further than I want to, I just stop enjoying it. And when I get home, I would regret not enjoying every single mile of this trail. It's just such a privilege, I mean, honestly. Anyway, I'm going on, as I do, probably because I'm excited. It's strange, some mornings I wake up and I just feel so good. Coincidentally, that's also when I wake up without a massive headache, which is pretty clear, it's 
because I've got my hydration sorted. They have no rooms, but he said they've got cabins over the road here. So I might as well go and find out. So I got a cabin. Wow, I've got a double and two singles. Shame I have no friends. So the food there was really good. Yeah, I keep making the right choices. Everywhere I've been has been perfect. Either that or everywhere in Montana is perfect. It's been a very friendly stay. Every single person who comes by in a car or ATV, anything, waves, everyone. And if I'm off my bike pushing it, just to get a bit of a break, everyone will stop and ask if I'm okay. So much so, when I hear a car coming, I have to jump back on the bike to save them the bother of slowing down and stopping. I finally made it out. Again, it was a struggle. It's always hard when you leave in town and drinking coffee and having breakfast and just chilling around, chatting. Got out at the crack of half past nine, so yeah, it doesn't matter. It's gonna be a hot day, but I'm gonna take it slow. There's a nice breeze actually, so that's good. made it. There's the campsite. I have an infestation of Canadians. <laughs> Does anyone know how to get rid of them? <laughs> Didn't have a good night's sleep. My sleeping pad is getting worse. It's gonna die at any point and then I'm gonna be sleeping on the ground. I need to find an outfitter so I can get a new one. Wow. The utmost source of the Missouri River, which is the fourth longest river in the world. Hell Roaring Creek. What a great name. Well, if there was a sign, I missed it, but I'm in Idaho which is nice. It looks the same as Montana. You can see where the road changes there. It's like nice and now it's gravelly. I wonder if that's the actual border. Montana just said, yeah, we're doing up to there. We're not going to do Idaho. Idaho, you need to improve your roads. Look at Montana. You should be ashamed of yourself. I apologize profusely to Idaho because now this is the nicest bit of road. I admit when I'm wrong. That is spectacular, isn't it? That we made it to the campground. This one's called Warm River Campground. I've been in the river. It most definitely isn't warm, but it was nice. Good morning. I had a reasonable night. Thought I'd show you what I'm dealing with. Definitely not right. Just had a decent-ish sort of climb on the way out of that campsite. It wasn't long, but my legs feel so strong. It's a, it's a nice feeling. I just feel like I could pedal all day. I mean, I'm not going quick. And I put it in a nice low gear for that climb. But definitely I can feel it. My legs have come, my legs have come good. Just 
just got my first proper view of the Tetons and they are really epic I mean utterly amazing really really excited to see more of them well that was cool in this lay by a family just pulled me over made me a peanut butter and jelly sandwich gave me some water fantastic good timing as well because I was going to get some water from this reservoir which is quite a hike down and the mosquitoes here are terrible I would have been eaten alive so more good people so I've just crossed over into Wyoming so Idaho is a very you just clip the corner of Idaho so now Wyoming There's a storm a coming. They blow in so fast. Hopefully it's just an isolated one. I've been lucky so far. I've had very little rain. And to be fair, when I've had it, I've enjoyed it. It's cooled me off. So made it here, Flag Ranch. You can't tell from the ACA sort of maps what you're gonna get. I thought this would just be a small campsite. It's a holiday resort and there's no tent spots. But seeing as though there's three of us, it makes sense to get a lodge. I can do all my uploading and have a shower. I don't have to sleep on that stupid sleeping pad. There is an advantage to traveling in groups. So we've left Flag Ranch, there's a place called Coulter Bay, which is not far down the road, 15 miles from there, where breakfast, that's the plan anyway. But this is just amazing. didn't make it very far. Coulter Bay, I've decided to stay here for the night. I said I was going to slow down, it's such a beautiful spot. I'm right in the Tetons and I want to do a bit of exploring. There's a beach here I can go and swim and laundry and an added bonus, uh, John and Mira who were trying to set a record I believe for dog packing on the uh, GDMBR. They're coming past today so I'm going to go up and cheer them on. The pads are really low on the front so I'm gonna get them changed out today as well may as well whilst I'm here whilst I got time bit of a maintenance day really just about all my jobs done today is a good test my instinct was to keep going but I'm glad I didn't this is what slowing down is all about John Amira awesome <laughs> wow I was going to film you going past, I didn't expect you to stop. Hello, Mia. Hello, you. I've watched so many uh, videos with you in them. Hey, what's your name? Matt, I'm Matt. Hey, Matt. John, nice to meet you. Yeah, you too. Awesome. How, how's it all going? Ah, uh, good. Yeah? Oh, yeah. I mean, sometimes they're hard, like, you know, the low angle stuff that's uh, soft gravel. And you're doing it in 21 days? You on we're, schedule? No, we're not. No? No, no. We're doing, oh, okay. we're, yeah, we're going to average about 100 a day or something like that. Yeah, yeah. still amazing. Yeah, we'll see, we'll see how I goes. think I was at Lama Ranch when you set off, so that shows how fast you're going. So, well, thanks for stopping. Hey, no problem. Really appreciate right. it. Been a seven and a half mile road ride this morning, which is a bit sketchy because uh, obviously it's more dangerous on a bike, but. The scenery has been spectacular nonetheless. Time for a quick snack. Mosquitoes again. I think you might have seen me the other day, a bit stressed out about mosquitoes. 
I'm getting used to it. I'm just ignoring them. I noticed that I only itch for about 20 minutes after they bite. So I'm lucky I don't have a bad reaction. And I think the best way of not getting stressed is just to ignore them. I just leave them. There's probably five of them feasting on me now. Or feed away, my little vampiric friends. I'm about a third of the way up and the car just stopped and they gave me a sandwich. It looks like turkey and I'm going to eat it now because I need the energy. Nice people. Uh, the guy raced it in 2014 and uh, he's out having a look around the route to bring back memories, I think. That's what he said. So, lucky me. Two thirds of the way up and I just popped out onto a road a little convenience store. I bought one of these. Some nuts and a coffee for fourteen eighty nine. It's nuts, nuts. Black flies biting me in the ankle. You see it? <sighs> nice. In case you were wondering, I killed it, and I don't feel bad. Not yet, anyway. Not today. Maybe tomorrow. I think about that fly's wife and kids. Screw them. I just saw two more grizzlies right on the side of the road. I didn't stop, obviously. They were just eating berries and things off a bush. Paid me no attention, which is how I like it. Still got another 300 meters of climbing. If those grizzlies had looked at me, I'd have been at the top by now. I can promise you that. They are huge, massive. So since I last spoke to you, well, I saw those grizzly bears. About five minutes later, there was a three car pile up right in front of me. Everyone's okay, but it was a big accident. And then, for no reason, the belt has just popped off. So, three things. Hopefully that's it. As beautiful a spot as this is, I think I'll give it a miss. Grizzly bear displaying bold behavior is not for me. Pinnacles Campground on Brook Lake. Very beautiful spot. Just speaking to a couple up there that have been here a few days. And there's a couple of black bears that wander through the campsite, which I'm not worried about. And a, a grizzly which walks around the lake, but doesn't bother anyone. Known as Brownie. Can't imagine why. Dinner tonight will be rice, spicy rice with cashews, and a chopped up Slim Jim. It's not that bad. I could do better. But I probably won't. Packed everything away apart from the tent. I think I'm just gonna stay in here. I'm not purposefully gonna ride in the rain and a storm. <sighs> it's like everywhere. You can hear thunder from every direction. It's wild. So it's stopped for a bit. Might be the wrong choice, but I think I'm gonna pack up. There's a place called Lava Mountain Lodge. It's got a grocery store. It's only seven and a half miles away. I need to resupply. I'm thinking if I get there, at least there's a chance of getting Wi-Fi, I can do some job, just not sit around in a tent, bored. So will I outrun it? Or will it catch me up? At least I'm going downhill. Cal 
zone. Very good. Best way to see out the rain. Sit in a restaurant. Drag myself out of there. Now to keep moving. Hopefully the rain stopped. I just went through peanut butter mud for the first time. I've been warned about it. And uh, when people say you can't ride through it, it's impossible. They're right. You just can't. I think that's what it's going to be like in um, New Mexico if it's wet. I'll be prepared. Very fresh. Must have been since it rained this morning. I'll be glad to be out of grizzly country. I'll be honest. Nearly made it to the top of this climb and the weather's not looking good. So, I don't know, I'm knackered. Amazingly, I just bumped into that guy that I saw yesterday. They gave me the turkey sandwich. He, uh, ro he raced this in 2014. He told me there's a shelter about 13 miles from here, uh, which I think I'm gonna shoot for. I think it's the right thing to do. So I'm gonna put my head down and get there as soon as I can. Amazing, perfect place. Good morning. I had a good night. Shared the lodge with a few little critters, but they didn't bother me. So I'll finish packing up. Pinedale, I think, is about 60 miles away. I don't know if I'll do the 60 today. If I don't, then I'll just uh, camp up somewhere close and then head in tomorrow morning. I might prefer to do that anyway. See how I feel when I get there. I'm getting good at this not making decisions. <laughs> that sounds terrible. It's early. What I mean is I'm going with the flow. I'm definitely getting more into that. Because it always works out. I mean, last night, I don't know, I could have ended up camping anywhere, but yeah, somebody came along and told me about this and this is an experience, isn't it? Very rocky trail. I just realized I'm gonna to have to go all the way to Pinedale because I've run out of food. Looks like about 15 miles all road into Pinedale, so should go fairly quick. I hope so, I'm starving. I need food. So the bike's in having its tire done. I've just been and had uh, Mexican food and it's just started to storm so I'm gonna go and take shelter over here whilst I decide what I'm gonna do next. It's a coffee shop there it's pretty much a guarantee I'm gonna go in there. I'm such a dunce. I came over here to stand under a shelter and then wasn't. Fine coffee supply, genuinely probably the nicest coffee I've ever had. Absolutely incredible. I am seriously, seriously lucky. So it was sunny. I go in to get something to eat and a coffee and it tips it, chucks it down the rain. And then when I come out and need to go and get the bike, the sun comes out again. I seem to dodge the rain. I know yesterday was a bit of a... Well, I dodged the rain yesterday, didn't I? Yeah, I'm lucky, but I appreciate it. More awesomeness. If I'm in a bell tent. Got a proper bed with bedding. I got power. I got Wi-Fi. Yeah, this is awesome. This warm showers thing. My clothes are in the washing machine now. I've just had a shower. So yeah, I'm gonna kill a bit of time until my washing's done. Then I'm gonna go for a walk into town, I think, and find something to eat because I'm just starving all the time now. The hike, the, the hunger has really come on. So dinner was good. I had two beers and as I sit here outside Pine Coffee, which is closed, I'm stealing their Wi-Fi to upload this footage. 
there was a comment earlier where someone made a point where I wasn't announcing the important mile markers, you know, the quarter way, third of the way, halfway, I'm not quite a halfway. And I realised I'm not keeping track. I'm not focusing on how far I've come and how far I have to go. When I did the Appalachian Trail, I knew exactly where I was, how far there was to go. And that was largely because, I guess, I wanted to get it finished. This time, I'm not paying attention to those milestones. So that's a good thing. I'm definitely enjoying this more than I did the Appalachian Trail. I had a great time on the Appalachian Trail, but I did wish an awful lot of it away. I don't know, maybe because this is shorter, or I think I'm a convert to bikepacking as opposed to hiking. I have moments. Today was one. I had 20 miles of riding into a headwind on a highway. Nobody wants that. But none of these outweigh the pleasure I'm getting from particularly coming into towns like this, the smaller towns. I could sit here all night just watching people go by, the cars, the trucks, and based on the speed of their broadband, I may well be here all night. That's all about. Look at this little girl. A little timid, aren't you? Oh, there you go. It's the first time she's let me stroke her. Morning. Good night. Really good night. I slept until about half seven, which is a lay in comparative. <laughs> comparative. <laughs> it's a word. It's a lay in comparative to every other day on the trail. I haven't had coffee, I don't even know why I'm bothering trying to film this. Looks good. Got my new tyre, that's all done. And I'm staying here again at this warm showers place. The guy's so nice. Now I've got to go and do a resupply. I think I need four days worth of food, um, but that'll get us through the basin. Needed. Shaver failure. The comb didn't work, so I've gone clean shaven. I haven't been clean shaven since I was 20. I feel so weird. I feel like I look old. But there you go. It'll last longer, won't it? Just my big pile of food for my resupply. Gotta somehow get all of that on the bike. So I didn't film a lot today. It was just so busy. Just one thing to the next. Uh, my bike's done. I met up with John. We had some lunch planned out what we were going to do with the basin now. So this basin section coming up is like a desert section, very low on water, no resupplies, hence the four days. So I'm out. Bit of road riding straight off the bat. But I don't mind. It's a nice wide shoulder here on this highway anyway. It was a nice day off. It's always hard getting back into it, but I think today should be okay. Still on the road. This is different to anything else on trail so far. Just long, endless roads in the middle of nowhere, it feels. Hello? You need help? I don't think it's, uh, I don't think it's gonna pull through. What was it, do you think? Deer? Pronghorn? Judging from the condition, yeah. I would say this is dead. <laughs> I have never seen a landscape like this ever. You can see all the storms pretty much where we were, but I don't think it's going to come and get us. It's just such a landscape. We 
found a campsite, a good campsite. We thought we were in trouble. The two that were recommended were completely awful, but this one's perfect. Right, dinner tonight. Rehydrated chicken, flavoured rice, and tuna. Which is actually not that bad. It's ten past six and it's absolutely boiling. So, I can't get in my tent, not till it cools off. What are you having? I'm having a uh, Starkist wild caught light tuna in water. Oh. Along with Spanish style rice. For dessert, yeah. I may have to uh, forage for a granola bar. Forage for a granola bar? <laughs> <laughs> out there in the, the there'll, hinterland. There'll be one out there. Yeah, <laughs> Good luck. Good luck. Good morning. What a night. So quiet. Just packing up, had breakfast. Oatmeal and Pop Tarts. Now we've got, can't remember how far, to Atlantic City and on into the basin. Hopefully the weather stays like this. It's perfect. But it seems there's storms every day. I have definitely never seen anything like this. It's just so barren. And it goes down like that, so it is in the basin. But the basin is huge. But it's ominous. It's... Yeah, ominous is the best word. What a place. Well, we're crossing it over in that direction. I think there's a 50-50 chance of survival. And I'm gonna survive, just saying. Open, it's open. What a place, it's fantastic. You've got power, Wi-Fi. It's really nice, I'll show you inside. And I've ordered fish and chips and onion rings. I know that doesn't go, but it's what I want. So it's what I have. 20 miles to Diangus Well, which is flowing, I guess. I'm sure we would have heard if it wasn't. Washboard! And there's been quite a lot of it today. I've never felt more exposed. It's such an unusual feeling, but it's uh, thrilling. Ominous, but thrilling. And it's raining ahead. Made it just in time, really. Don't know whether this is gonna blow over, but I'm gonna start dinner anyway. That well's running. The deal with the basin, I think it's about 120 miles, very little water. Um, you've got this, which is 20 miles in, a reservoir at 70 miles, and that's it, I think. The rain could slow you down because it can make the ground very muddy and you get horrific winds here. So that's the deal. It's kind of, you just have to get to these water sources regardless of the conditions. Now, hopefully this is just, just a shower. I don't know, but could be difficult riding tomorrow. I've got six litre capacity, which should be enough, regardless of what happens, to get me to that reservoir, I think. I forgot to resolve the sleeping pad issue. This is my new one, given to me by Joe, a Canadian guy I was riding with, who was always going to be getting off at Jackson. And uh, yeah, he gave me his pad. So what a legend. I owe you big Joe. And it's supremely comfortable, much more comfortable than the last one. I look forward to getting into to bed at night now, so I will look forward to getting into bed tonight. Mm. 
made it out for about eight o'clock actually got somewhat of a tailwind not quite a tailwind but not a headwind so it's really really smooth going at the moment I love the basin. This has been such an awesome morning. It's only about 20 past 10, 20 miles done. It doesn't get any better than this. It always amazes me the work that went into doing this. I wonder how long it's been here. A long time. I can have a couple of bars here. Yeah. This is my lunch spot. I've got shade from the cables. I think we're close to the well, but the storms again. So I don't know, maybe we'll stay at the well, get up early and get into Rawlins. I'll see what John thinks and then do what I want. And so will he because that's the way of things. There's an order, a hierarchy, if you will. It seems to happen at this time every day. I'm gonna do some dinner. The plan is get up and get out of here for five, get into Rawlins early afternoon, make the most of it. raining it's early just gonna give it another half an hour see if it stops I got waterproof so should be okay today and it's a town day so I know I'm gonna be warm and a comfortable bed tonight it's always incentive all packed up seems to have stopped raining this is a great spot you probably can't see it but there's I think there's loads of trout in here you can see them all jumping up. Anyway, we're going to get moving. Quarter to six, not bad. Hopefully get a straightforward run into Rawlins and get some food. I don't mind the rain when it's like this. It's just epic. I love the basin, definitely my favourite section. One thing I forget to mention, this whole basin is approximately 2,400 metres above sea level, which is over a thousand metres higher than the highest point in Britain, the peak of Ben Nevis. It's just, it, I, it doesn't compute. Second wash since I've been here. We're on our way to Walmart. See if I can find a tripod. Uh, checked into the hotel, it's got laundry. And within walking distance, there's a rodeo on tonight. And uh, I'm gonna go, because I've never been to a rodeo. I got a flexible tripod and another mini one as a backup. You served me well. Thank you for all you've done. No, I don't feel bad. He died long ago. Have a look, new tripod. See what happens if you don't perform? Yes, you may well tremble. You've been warned. So that was a nice meal. 
I had more than that little tiny bowl of soup, but I forgot to film it. Now to the rodeo. Hopefully it's still on. Oh no. That could take some time. See how these things are about four miles long. Oh, and the lightning as well. What a weird day this is. So the rodeo was fun, really enjoyed that. Only stayed for a couple of hours just because I'm so tired. The last few days have been really, really good. Probably my favorite on the trail so far. And now, got Colorado coming up. I can't believe I'm there already. And I'm over halfway, only just. But it's going quickly, it is going quickly. Good morning, made it out of Rawlins. But yeah, I don't know what we got coming up today. I've got a feeling it's climbs, but on, on the road. We're looking to get to Brush Mountain Lodge tomorrow. It's one of those places where everyone says you have to go, so we're gonna go. I'm gonna do as they tell me. There's no hiding from the wind. Not today. Yeah, it's hard going. Only done about 20 miles. I think it's probably gonna be a 40 mile day because this is almost unrideable for me. And today I've decided to try not using my bib shorts. I thought the up and down would be good. I can get up the saddle a lot, but I can't, even on the downhills. I'm gonna take the rough with the smooth, but this is hard going. I'm exhausted, but I'm at the top of this climb and I'm hoping we get some shelter from the wind on the way down. So we've made it into camp. We call it camp, but just on the side of the road. Today's been pretty tough with that headwind. This tripod, which I bought yesterday, is already broken. On O double N from Walmart. Never buy one. So I think today is very similar to yesterday. Just road riding up and down. Saying that, I'm just about to go onto some gravel. Yeah, gravel. Well, I never. I didn't see that coming. So it should be a good day. It's nice and cool at the moment. It's another advantage to getting out early. Well, that was strange. He had something in his mouth. He wasn't worried about me, was he? What happened there? Like a fight to the death? I mean, it is a big moth. A northbounder. I'm gonna go and speak to her because she's the first one that we've come across like where it. we've done more than her. So I'm gonna go and gloat and make her aware of all the hardships to come. Try and put her off. Get her to turn around and go home. Yeah. Rattlesnake. He doesn't look in good shape. Still, I'm not going to get much closer than that. So far, Colorado is very green. And my legs are very tired. I keep stopping. 
it's five past two I think I've got five miles to go which means at least I get time to rest my legs tonight it's funny it comes in waves you have a few days of feeling great and then a couple of not oh well keep going I'm at Brush Mountain Lodge and it's all good so far. I've had a drink, Kirsten. She's making me a pizza. Showers, laundry to do. It's just about everything I need. And I am exhausted, utterly exhausted. So uh, couldn't be happier. I can see why people say you have to come here. It's pretty, you just have to. Got a room. Love this place. Just had a beer, had a pizza. Can have a shower now. Yeah, everyone said to come here and I can see why. So today, 44 miles, 1,175 meters of elevation. So not too big a day, which was good. So I didn't have any more left in me. This place is really, really nice. See all these hummingbirds, there's hundreds of them. And they fly close to you. I'm gonna be going to bed in a bit. Proper early night. Actually, I'm going to watch, um, if you haven't watched it, watch Joe Nation. He raced the Tour Divide this year and it's incredible. It's well worth a watch. So have a look at his videos. I'm going to watch the second part of it tonight. But uh, on that note, I'll see you in the morning. Good morning. And it is a good morning, weather-wise anyway. I woke up this morning just with a banging headache. Couldn't wake up properly. I think I probably should have taken a day off today. I'm really not feeling it for the first time, I would say, since I started, just really not feeling it. So I think my aim is to take my time into Steamboat Springs, stop as much as I want. It's going to be a rough day, I know it is. Hopefully I turn it around, but yeah, every now and then. Not just on this trail, but just in life. You have days where you just can't be bothered and I am definitely having one of them. Which feels kind of childish when you can see what I'm doing today. I'm not in work. I'm just riding through beautiful landscapes. Yeah, I don't know. See how the day goes. halfway up this big climb. I think it goes to about 3,040 meters, which might be the first time we've broken 3,000 meters. I'm pretty sure it is. It does look like a decent uh, downhill on the other side of this climb, which is nice. After 3,000 meters above that, I can feel the effects of being at altitude, you know, the lack of oxygen and definitely whilst I'm um, hiking, I felt it. I've never cycled above 3,000 meters. So it's going to be an interesting, interesting day. See what it's like. Okay, made it to the top. Yeah, it's just shy, like three meters of 3,000 meters. But now it's a long downhill to Steamboat Lake and Clark, I think. So I might as well get cracking. Ooh. He's just gonna stand there. Come on, buddy. Yeah, yeah. When in Rome, 
don't come back on the road. I'm not going to pass them because they'll run straight in front of me. Just ordered a pepperoni pizza. Have a look in this store. Buy a few bits. I don't really know what I need for a resupply, but I'm going to buy whatever. Just fill up. That's what I ended up with. Quick resupply. They gave me these, and they gave two to John as well. Fatty. Fatties. How good is that? So I'm waiting for my pizza, and then we're going to have to get move into Steamboat. heavy muffin and a mocha and we're here in steamboat made it safe and sound morning back at the same coffee shop more muffins more coffee we did go somewhere I promise warm showers wonderful I was in a hot tub this morning on a deck looking at a marvelous view it was amazing so lucky so it was great today bike shop I need new shorts new brake pads and just hang around in town till about probably three o'clock and ride out to a campsite so a half day which is nice there he goes one of God's crazy little creatures too weird to live too strange to die so this is the lake where we're staying tonight in Stagecoach National Park. I don't care about people seeing me do this anymore. I'm that close to just walking around crowds of people doing it, but not quite there yet. I think I might wait for this to blow over before I put the tent up. So here's our spot for tonight. Next to the river, the lake, I mean. We just got here, we were hiding in a sheltered sort of area and there was a massive family from Chihuahua in Mexico, wasn't there? And uh, they invited us for tacos and pork and beer. It was so nice. It was really nice, yeah, yeah. So we just, today has been a day of just, we haven't had to do anything. We've been spoiled, haven't we? The whole yes. time, the whole day. It was perfect. Very good, day. very nice people. So yeah, that's a great way to end the day. Oh, is it a fail? So now the sun's come out. The weather changes so quickly, but uh, I'm glad it did because this view is amazing. So we've decided to stop early at a place called Radom, I think. There's a campground here. It's got every facility you need. It's only $6 a night for a pitch. Quarter past seven, I'm in bed. I've been eating more today. I've been making a point of eating something every hour and uh, definitely makes a huge difference. Gives me so much more energy. So that's my revelation for the day. My obvious revelation. Good morning. I slept like a log all night. No rush today. Go to Kremlin, which is 20 or 25 miles away, I can't remember. And then figure out where we're gonna camp tonight. 
probably another 20 miles, 25 from there. Depends really on the climbs that are lined up today. I think they're elk. They're huge. Yeah, keep going. <laughs> I'm not going to mess with them. Biscuits and gravy, sausages, hash browns, eggs. I told you I was going to eat. See if I get through it. Now to get a subway, pack it out, even though I never want to eat again. So resupplied in the family dollar. So for the first time, it didn't cost six million pounds for two days worth of food. John has managed to shave his own head. Yes. After three attempts, <laughs> one in the library. I don't know what mess you one left at the about. mercantile. One at the mercantile. Finished it off at the family dollar. John has made fire. Now I can dry off by the fire. Now we need a uh, fish. <laughs> Go get fish. Go yes. fish. This is probably one of the best campsites we've been on. It's completely free. All good. All good. Very happy. First climb of the day done. A lot of ominous looking mountains up there. So I just put the drone up and I was aware it wasn't particularly a, a beautiful shot. I don't tend to do it just for that. What I'm trying to do is show what it, what it is actually like. And I mean, it is spectacular, but not always, it can't be. But much in the same way, I don't try to hide what mood I'm in and whether stuff's hard or all that sort of stuff. Trying to tell the story of what it really is like. Right, another 100 metres of ascent to go and then I think a long downhill with some bumps, ups and downs and then a gradual uphill into Silverthorne and food. I'm now obsessed with food. We're in Silverthorne, found this place, eclectic bar and grill and then there's an REI just down the road. So we're going to go and look in there and then on to Frisco to camp. So this is Frisco. We're going to probably come back out later, get something to eat. Found a campsite in Frisco. Uh, went to, went into town, got a pizza and a couple of beers, which was nice. Good day today, 51 miles, 1,070 meters of ascent. Could have done a lot more, felt really strong. Eating more is definitely helping without a shadow of a doubt. So this was the campsite we were at last night. So uh, yeah, now we're gonna go to Breckenridge about 10 miles away, probably get some breakfast there. And then I think we're looking to try and do about 60 today to get to a place called Hartzell, where there's a cafe that lets you camp out in the back. Let's do Clint's. Good muffin. It's five dollars fifty cents. So it should be. I'm spending so much money on food. I could do it cheaper, I know, but it's worth it though. It's not worth it, is it? But I'm just saying it is. That was Breckenridge, nice little town. Would have been nice to have spent a little bit longer here, but got to push on. No, 
3,200. So feeling pretty good. It's a very gradual climb and it's nice and cool up here, which really does help. 3,500 feet, made it to the summit. No ill effects. There's some beautiful views up here. People always have a lot of questions about the GDMBR and my bike with the belt drive and the gearbox, which I like. I like talking to people about these things, but uh, yeah, it delays. I reckon I was there for probably half an hour. Talked about four different sets of people. It's almost like I should just tell them all to gather around so I could tell them all at the same time. Anyway, we've got a good descent now. And a uh, place called Como, apparently there's restaurants there. Maybe I can get coffee or something. But uh, yeah, we're it's quarter to one already and we've got a long way to get to Hartzell. I think this is Como. Spent way too long in Como, but loved it. Everyone's super friendly. Spoke to one guy who's been to Wales, which is miraculous. He said it rained. Obviously it's Wales. Now's the time for an update. I haven't been wearing my bib shorts, the padded shorts, and this is day five. So I'm not gonna bother going back to them. I don't think they make much difference. I've had some excellent comments and advice that basically say they work for shorter rides, but day in, day out, they just become like horrible, nasty breeding ground for bacteria. And they're impossible really to keep clean. So I think I'm gonna abandon them. But this washboard doesn't help. This landscape reminds me of the basin and the flat plains of the basin where you get the wind. Very, very, very beautiful though. No way I can eat all of this. It's massive. I seem to have pitched my tent in some sort of scrapyard. That's um, ungrateful. This is the cafe, the saloon. We've just had some lovely food in here. And uh, yeah, they let us camp in, in the back. I am grateful really, and I think this is fantastic. This is such a unique place. Half past 11, 30 miles in for the day. Just got like a 300 meter climb now. And then I think it's downhill more or less into a salida. We're heading into trees, I think, which makes a nice change. Maybe get a bit of shade. I'm gonna have this maple syrup coffee. I got this from Brush Mountain. Kirsten gave it to me. Oh my God. Wow. Yeah, it's just coffee and maple syrup. It's so sweet. bikes in and they recommend changing the front tire so they're doing it. I'm gonna buy some pads whilst I'm here. The guys recommended a place called the Mika's for a beer and some food. So far this place is pleasing me. We've had coffee here, we had lunch in a Mika's. Now to go and get the bike. Oh, 
That actually looks nice to fall in as well. I could uh, quite happily fall in that right now. So dinner's done. <coughs> Great Divide Brewing Company, best food on the trail so far. Highly recommended. But now we've got to get back to our warm showers place and we're walking. So I'm going to say goodnight. So I'm getting to the top of uh, Marshall Pass which is uh, the big climb for the day and then it's just a downhill. <sighs> I'm at the top, it's done. And that was some climb, it went on for quite a while but it was all very easy gradient and I felt pretty good for the whole thing now we've got a massive downhill all the way to Sergeant's should be pretty cool That's our place. So the sun's come out and this is where we're camped, right on this river. Yeah, this is a highly recommended, this place. I really like it. So if you're coming through, I can't remember what it's called, but you saw it when I came in. Honestly, I gotta go to bed. I can have a shower in the morning, even though I'm filthy. I've just, I've eaten so much food. I just need to lie down and go to sleep. morning just been over there for breakfast which was really nice and uh yeah now we'll pack up 48 miles today to a place called luders creek a forest service campsite so yeah better get moving just having a quick break before i start this climb i don't fear the climbs anymore i remember being in Canada or maybe Montana and I remember thinking just that thought crossed my mind for a second that I wouldn't be able to do it have I bitten off more than I can chew and I think I rationalized it because I just made the decision that I would do it anyway but I was resigned to the fact that I was going to be pushing the bike a lot more which I could have done I would have done it anyway I couldn't have gone home with my tail between my legs but as it turns out my legs got stronger and now I can just power up these climbs, no problem. Which is a good thing, because there's a lot of them. And it might be tomorrow, that's, that might be Indy, Indiana Pass, which is the highest one. It's always a surprise to me. I almost don't need to know, because it's not as if I'm gonna change my mind. I'm not gonna turn back now, am I? Time for the daily headwind every single day. It is a bit soul destroying. Made it to camp. 25 past five. It feels like a harder day than it was really. All set up in the corner. John's there. Guy Bill is in his hammock over there. I'm envious. Morning, good night. Rained again overnight. Sunny again this morning, every day. Seems the same. I'm trying to get packed up and get moving. So I had a nice road ride, 15 miles, and now we're into a completely different landscape. It's been very dry, deserty 
Now it's starting to get greener. Just put the drone up. This is really quite a spectacular little area. I think we've got to climb now. Carnero Pass, 10166 feet. Bit of a downhill now and then another climb to Del Norte. Let's stop and have pumpkin seeds. And that's gotta be good calories, right? This looks like I'm on a film set. Like if I went up and tapped them, they'd be hollow, made of fiberglass. Oh shit. Oh, yeah, that's what you get when you're not looking around. I haven't crashed once on this trail, not once. And that was close. So we're in the city park, this is our campsite for the night. Just trying to work out where the sprinklers are so they don't wet us in the morning. I'm so tired. Today was a good day. Tomorrow is the biggest, um, the highest climb, Indiana Pass. And it's tricky because we need to take probably four days worth of food. And the water at the top of the pass is dodgy. So have to carry a lot of water as well. Anyhow, that's tomorrow's problem morning all packed up it's cold again now we're gonna go and get some food and coffee breakfast and I've got a resupply my bike's gonna be as heavy as it's ever been today and I've got the highest climb on the whole tour so that'll be a challenge but I'm ready for it okay we started the climb up Indiana Pass only at the very beginning we're getting up to 3,650 feet. So we've climbed 727 meters. We're at 3,111. We've got to get to 3,560. I've already gone through two and a half liters of water. It is so hot. This is telling me it's 33 degrees. I've never sweated like this. It's crazy. About 100 meters to go. <sighs> Thank God. Amazing views. I can really feel it today. I'm gasping for breath. morning glorious day sun's just come up slept mm, reasonably well i've had a small breakfast but we're gonna find this restaurant which is about seven or eight miles away hopefully it's open I don't know. <laughs> I film everything. It's up get, get a look it's inside a that uh, cobbler. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Apple cobbler, cherry cobbler, cherry. Which is like a child, you couldn't wait. I you could not wait. It. Crazy looking sky. Colorado is beautiful. I mean, it's just beautiful. It's 
stumbled across this little store. Got an ice cream and a root beer. And I've restocked on worms. Nice, nice surprise stop. We've been temporarily joined by another guy, an Italian. So now we have American, Italian, Welsh, and Canadian. Truly a multicultural group. So we just came past this place, Red Bear, and uh, one of the guys who we've been, or we know from the trail, came running out to tell us it's been raining up this pass and it's impassable when it's been raining. On top of that, between Abiq and Cuba, which would be our next section, there's fires, forest fires, and it's closed. So we've stopped here to do a bit of research, see what we're going to do. So this place, definitely stop here. Red Bear, absolutely awesome place. It's not in any of the guides, so you have to. Me and Bill are going to go up and try the mud and chance it. And uh, could be the wrong decision. We're going to find out soon. Here we go, we got to run it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> rope them, rope them. <laughs> oh my God, look at that view. <laughs> Good work. There you are. La Manga Pass Summit. 10, 2, 3, 0 feet. So we're at the border. We decided to take the non-advised route and it looks good. The adventurous route. The adventurous route and the actual route. You should always take the dirt path. Yeah, yeah, always in life right. and on the trail. And there we are, New Mexico. So witness, witness the traverse into New Mexico. Oh yeah. Yeah. Actual... You coming? Ceremonial <laughs> cow, yeah, break an ankle. We're in New Mexico. Wow. Don't like it. Yeah, uh, go back no. to Colorado. <laughs> Camp all set up. Absolutely amazing spot. One of the best so far on the trail. Need to eat quickly and go to bed. I feel quite lightheaded, funnily enough. But I guess we're at elevation. It's just been a big day. But a good day, really enjoyed it. I'm glad we took this, the official route. So I'll see you in the morning. Okay, so it's 20 past one. This brick I packed out yesterday and Bill's got one too. This is the weightiest cake. I reckon this weighs a good kilo. <laughs> Don't you think? Yeah. And that's lunch. And I'm gonna have some sort of meat stick from that nice place. Probably cost 14 pounds. I am feeling today. I really am. Yeah, he's poised ready, isn't he? Yeah. Like the thing is, you probably wouldn't have seen him if he hadn't been rattling. I heard the rattle. Yeah. I, yeah so he's drawing by. attention to himself. And I was like, that wasn't leaves. We made it. We're at the campsite. We made it 48 and a half miles. The storm clouds came in and we didn't get each other half till about half past six. And the next campsite was going to be a couple of hours away, so it's just been a slow day. The train has been difficult. It's been an amazing day, scenery-wise. So there's my tent. Bill's got his hammock over there. He's got his bear spray. There's a black bear, apparently, that causes problems around here. I'm going to basically eat whatever I can quickly and go to bed because I seriously need sleep. 
I'm sleep deprived. The last two or three nights I haven't slept properly. I think it might be the altitude. We're still at altitude tonight, but yeah, I'm, I seriously need sleep. I'm so like, I don't know. I can't think properly. Good morning. I slept well, thankfully. So I think we got 57 miles to Happy Q. There's no hotel, but apparently there's cyclists only camping on the river. And then a day off tomorrow, thankfully. But we're getting down off this altitude today and I don't think we come back up this high, which is nice. No problems with a bear last night, didn't hear him. But it's wise just to keep your food out of the way. They don't bother you if there's no food. They're not interested. And he's not getting my slim gyms. This is where we get water, apparently. I can't see from where. Wow, Balacitos. Not high on my holiday destination list. Nearly at the top of this climb. It's hot here. But because we're at lower elevations, at least I can breathe properly now. So we just stopped in here. The National Forest Office, yeah, and they've given us some up-to-date information about the fire closure. Still don't really know exactly what's happening. But the good news is I got some free M&Ms. There's a famous restaurant. And there's a famous restaurant just up the road, so we're going to go and eat there. I'm guessing this is it. Yeah. Wow. Food in there was exceptional. Incredible. And the guy in there, the guy serving, such a nice guy. I think he owns it as well. We're a couple of miles out of Albuquerque. And this sign here, demanding that we come in and have a cold beer, I mean, I suppose we're gonna have to. I'm at the retreat on the river in Abiquiu. I'm gonna be staying in here tonight. Which is fine, it's only $20. And tomorrow as well, because I'm having a day off. But now we're gonna go back out on the bikes to the Abiquiu Inn and get some food. I don't have to get up in the morning. What a nice feeling. Just been up for dinner. It was really good at the Abiquiu Inn. A couple of beers, now I'm tired. Actually not a bad day at all. I'm quite chilled out. We came up with a started, started anyway, our plan for finishing. So there's me, John and Bill, and we're all planning on finishing together. Anyway, I'll see you in the morning. Funny little place. Good morning. Glorious morning. Had a good night, slept in, just washed all my clothes and put them straight on because it's New Mexico and they'll be dry within 15 milliseconds. I think uh, Bill and John have already set off for breakfast. So I'm gonna ride up there and meet them, get a burrito or something. Probably do a resupply. That was pretty funny. I was just coming out and this really nice woman started talking to me about the, the divide and the next section is coming up and then she said be careful because it's as hot as a mother and then walked off <laughs> you've got to laugh so time for an update the fire restrictions are still in place so we can't do the route from here to cuba bill has worked out a route on forest road so similar sort of terrain similar climbing which diverts around it which is really good i'm glad he did it because i wouldn't know where to start we're still going to need to carry a lot of water tomorrow so we still need to work that out so that's that really now I'm just gonna chill out for a bit the rest has been nice it's only half past two in the afternoon back at the abiquiu inn for dinner 
just been and resupplied. I'm going to be carrying 10 litres of water tomorrow. That's a horrific amount. 10 kilos of water. But it's necessary. Anyway, time for dinner. Morning, all packed up, ready to go. I've uh, managed to fit all the water on. I just need to fill up a bladder and I can go in the back somewhere. Anyway, it's a nice morning. It's going to be hot. It's going to be a tough day, but I'm looking forward to it. It's a challenge. And I mean that when I say I'm looking forward to it. It's a big climb, big water carry. Yeah, this is why we do it, isn't it? Only uh, 150 meters in and it's starting to get hot. It's a long old climb, 1500 meters. Bit of a breeze though, which is nice. Bill's feeding the ants, crackers. They love peanut butter crackers. So do I. I mean, I'm tempted to grab some of that myself. Oh, it's a good piece. It's that is a good piece, yeah. Oh, I can see the road, yeah, yeah. Let's tell John we're going up that. <laughs> I'm not good enough to ride this. made it to the top that was a big climb I don't know whether it was the hardest I think it was but I've forgotten how hard the others were so we found our spot for tonight I'm so glad I brought this little fold away backpack because uh, my tent's in there so it's not heavy and I've been wearing that all day it's just given me extra room for water yeah, what a great spot. And there's a tiny, thin crescent moon tonight and it looks like a clear night and we're high up. This is gonna be a good night for a night lapse. The skies here are incredible. So the route goes this way, but we're diverting that way, which is still on forest roads because of this black feather fire. It's a huge forest fire. That's mostly contained, but the, the trail is shut. So we're onto our alternate. It's a bit rocky. For the first time, we can smell the fire and see the smoke. Coming our way. <laughs> Don't say that. <laughs> I think it is. Oh, for your life. That's a big orange thing in the woods. Well, at least we got a nice smooth trail so we can get away quick. Oh, yeah. shit. It's all down here. We just ran into a forest service guy and he told us that fire that we saw earlier and the one I caught with the drone was a different fire. It wasn't the Black Feather fire. Uh, it's one that broke out yesterday, a lot smaller, and they had it under control. We're on this road for a little bit and then we hit the highway, then we got a big climb up and then a long downhill in to town where I'm going to immediately eat. I am so hungry again. We're going out for Mexican food. Me, John and Bill. We've got to get there quick because it closes soon. And it's the only food option in town apart from McDonald's. Look at this car. I'm guessing it was pushed down that bank in 1962, February 11th. If you push that car down that bank, let me know exactly what date you did it. Closed. I bet you we end up at McDonald's. I don't think there's anywhere else. We found somewhere that isn't McDonald's. Chaco's. What's that? 
pomegranate. Pomegranate is the uh, fruit of champions. Oh. Thanks. So lucky it's dry. It's taking a quick break. Pop tarts. This thing behind me, there's quite a few of them dotted around the landscape here, and this is the biggest one, Cabazon Peak, I think it's called. And from what I've read, or what Bill has read and told me, they're called tubules, and they're basically what's left of a volcano. The volcano is there, the lava inside solidifies. Then, because the volcano itself is a much softer rock, it erodes over millions of years. And what's left is like a, an imprint of the interior of a volcano. It's amazing, amazing thing. Water. Oh yeah. I bet it's cold too. Oh, good. Yeah, I'm gonna be doing that. I'm gonna filter water and do it before I go. It's amazing. All set up. I've had to use rocks because there's no purchase for the pegs, but that's fine. What a spot. I don't think I've ever camped in a place like this before. I got I got spiked by the cactus. Have you ever been caught by them? Ooh. They're barbed, so you can't get them out. Yeah. Horrible. Anyway, that's not going to bother me. It's not going to ruin my evening. <laughs> Nothing can bring you down now. No, no, this is incredible. Dinner? Dinner's cooking. Yeah, I'm going to get mine on. There's our water source. Do you think we should filter it? Chocolate milk. Chocolate milk, yeah, John would be happy. Yeah. There's always one brave one. No! <laughs> Good work. That's why I keep him around as well. Another old derelict building. Stay home? No, I think they're out. Extraction. Work. Pretty good. Needs a couple of filling. So we just started the big climb for the day. 650 meters. Already done 600. Just with up and downs. It's one o'clock. It's nice and cool. Should be okay. We're heading that way, and it's raining that way. It might blow over. We knew it was going to happen. <laughs> it's pretty bad. And we're so close to the top. So close. But yes, I can you imagine it was like this the whole way. We're so lucky. Made it to the campsite. Yeah, that was definitely a wake up call with that mud. When they say you can't ride through it, they mean it. You can't push through it. Crazy stuff. I'm in the tent. It's raining, it's going to rain all night and probably into the morning. But we got 20 miles down into town. We're just, as I've said 50 times, hoping that that road is not uh, muddy. So we're not going to know until tomorrow. If it is, I guess we just sit here and wait for it to dry out. Be a shame though, because I'm looking forward to breakfast, obviously, food. So it's been a good day. 49 miles. Just over 1,400 meters of ascent, so another big climb day. I was expecting them to calm down, but I'm gonna stop expecting it because we're too close to the end now. It's only seven o'clock, but I'm going to bed. I'm shattered, as per usual. So, uh, yeah, get a good night's sleep, hopefully. The rain usually helps, actually. 
I like this sound. Good night. It's raining. I'm going to have another coffee. I've already had one. Just trying to wait it out. I'm hoping this cuts to me sitting in front of a big plate of pancakes. Pancakes. Yes. <laughs> Lava Land RV Park. Seems good enough. It's got laundry, showers. Um, there's a bar. Now we've got to work out what we're doing over the next couple of days. Kind of Bill is in charge of that now. I don't think he wants to be. Had some beer, had some pizza. Good day. I can't stress how much I'm enjoying this trip. There's hard parts and it wears me out. But trust me, this is an exceptional trail. It's just fantastic. And it's not just me waxing lyrical about it after the event. I'm right in the middle of it. I, and I'm in a hard section of it. And I still love it, so, you know, that says it all, really. Morning. Last night I slept like a log on this noisy, bright RV park. I don't know why I slept so well. And I think we're heading into what they call the Badlands of New Mexico seems a little harsh. I'm sure those lands have done nothing worse than any other lands. I could actually spend hours in there. Genuinely could. So we made it out of Denny's about 10 o'clock. No rush today. 50 odd miles. Mainly on pavement. It's nice sometimes just to take your time. Especially when you're in town. Pretty spectacular. Natural arch. I think we're going to get caught in this storm. Right, we're done. We can't ride any further. The rain has at least stopped. A beautiful double rainbow. A double rainbow, yeah. There's a pot of gold somewhere around here. And I don't think John's found it. I don't think he has. I wonder where he is. He's probably walking. I think half a mile in an hour and a half, would you say? Pushing bikes. But we've managed to get it to the brow of this hill and it may be drier. I don't know. <laughs> you can't see anything. I'm, we made it to camp. It took us so long. It's half past eight and it's dark. But this looks like a cool place. We've got water. I'll show it to you in the morning. What a cool place. This is where we stayed last night. TLC ranch. Next to this old truck, which I love. Old Chevy, very cool. Uh, I'll have the wash and wax yeah. and uh, you check the oil. Hey, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> Bad, huh? The roads have dried up, thankfully. If it rains and you're on this kind of road, you've just got to stop dead. There's no trying, set up camp and wait for it to stop. So we've got to make sure we've got plenty of water every time we come out. I want pie. I can almost smell the pie from here, although it's four miles away. A guy called Zabdiel just gave us beer. Cheers. Good old Zabdiel. Zabdiel. Yeah. He kept one for himself though. Oh. Did it? Hey, Paul's done Paul already. got one too. <laughs> Cheers. Yeah, Cheers. Cheers. There was a one place in this town where they sold pie and everyone called it Pie Town. And then they uh, gave it the official designation. 
which I like. Yeah, I didn't expect this, did you? Yeah. Good happy. Rain. If we'd have been on the trail, we'd have been sinking. So, we made the right call. Plus, I'm full of pie and I'm in a rocking chair. I'm not sure, but this might be the toaster house. My uh, points of interest are showing that we passed it. Yeah. I think this might be it. The penthouse. Wow. How cool is this? So how amazing is this? A whole house, just empty for us to use, or CDT hikers. We're obviously gonna stay here tonight because we'd be mad not to. Uh, we've got to get back down for dinner at four o'clock because they close at five. I'm glad that this uh, rain has come in and me it means we've got to stay here because this is a proper experience. Matt, can you uh, open the box? Please? This box. <laughs> <laughs> We're back. Dinner was good and now I'm going to go and crash out on the bed and nothing more will happen today that you need concern yourself with. What cool place. Another cool place on a very cool trail. You've even got swings. I'm going to try and go all the way around. If I do that, I will film it. Good morning. It's a fine morning. For now. I think we're going to try and get a big day, or at least get as far as we can. I don't know which way we're going. Actually, I do. You look for the nearest mountains, and that's where they send you. They're cruel like that. Nine o'clock, making good progress. 11 miles already. This is the road, and it's like this most of the way to Silver City. If it's wet, it's impassable, but the the cruel thing is when it's dry it's the best surface so gotta make hay whilst the sun shines get as many miles in whilst it's dry as we can once we get to silver city i think we're pretty good but this stretch now 180 miles or so is the danger zone i had to sorry Amazing. We're in a bit of a bigger group at the moment. We stopped here to get some water and it's a church, Horse Springs Bible Church. And they invited us in and uh, we've just had loads of food, lemonade, really, really nice people. Paul broke a spoke. We're fixing it for him now. Good things always seem to pop up on this trail. Fiber fix spoke. Amazing. I've got one, now I know. <laughs> Man of Steel, right behind it. Yeah. Now it's ruined, isn't it? No one wants to see that. <laughs> no, that might be the best part of the video. <laughs> so John is now the junior deputy sheriff of Catron County. Get in line, boys. Paul's bike is fixed, but he's going to take the road just in case. And then I'm going to message him when we get to Silver City because uh, everything's better with Paul. He's the one that came here to ask for water and then got us all fed so he's a legend a living legend you can see the rain sort of running parallel to us at the moment which is fine made it just in time we've done 59 miles about 900 meters of ascent so good chunk knocked out more than we thought we were going to get it's quarter to six we thought this was coming in at four so sharing it with the cows they had like a box of free food at that toaster house so i got beef stew 
I'm glad I picked it up. Mountain house, sir. Hmm, they've been okay. But beggars can't be choosers. I can't be bothered doing much more tonight. Let's try it. Hmm. It's actually good. It's nice. Good morning. And it's a nice morning. Rained overnight. As long as it doesn't rain today, I'll be happy. Beautiful place to camp. There was like a yak or something. I think it was a yak hanging around the tent in the night, chasing two little cows around, as far as I can tell, unless I dreamt that. And I need to check whether it was a yak. <sighs> okay, this is obviously uh, excellent content. We need to do about 50 miles. If we can do 50 miles today, we're good. Another different landscape in New Mexico. This is a burn area. There was a big fire here last year, which is why all the grass comes through and trees are charred. Amazing. I can't believe the difference in landscapes that New Mexico has. This is about the most amazing thing <laughs> ever. It's good. Yeah. Oh, and, he oh, does, and a tomato and he does too. This like a champ. Like next level champ. Wow. Mmm. Oh, thank you, buddy. Really you appreciate it. Thanks. Yeah, now this is fresh from the garden. That was at a store. This yeah. is mine. Nice. Very happy we run into these guys. I'll be honest, I'm shattered. I'm just digging deep. Every climb I do today, I don't have to do tomorrow. I know that's motivating because tomorrow's gonna be a big day regardless. But tomorrow should be the last big, big day of the whole tour. Filling up with water at this ranch, which is very good of them. He told us there's no water for ages, so we filled everything up. Yeah, how cool. Without people like this, we'd be screwed. 40 degrees. No wonder I'm flagging. At camp. Just got here, got my tent up, and then it just tipped down with rain. We're stopped again now. For now. Morning. Half past seven, we've had breakfast. Just packing up. It's a nice sunny day. It's already been narrow and rough. So does that mean it's narrower and rougher? Probably. Try not bother wearing rain gear. I was completely drenched. The sun's come out. If it doesn't start raining again, I'll be dry in five minutes and then sweating again. No more mud. No more mud. That's it. We're done. We're done. Woo. Cuts to us stuck in mud. <laughs> right, we're at the campsite. I shouldn't feel like this, but I feel like the job is done. It was always going to be the case. We've got a road ride to Silver City and I think it's plain sailing from there. We haven't got much to do. So, of course anything can happen, but yeah, it feels like, it feels like it's done. Beer from these people. How nice. Oh, so cool. People are so nice. They give me shade and somewhere to sit. 
and a beer. What more could you want? Melon. What was it they're making us? Nachos. Yeah, oh, nachos. Yeah, we're having na nachos for dinner. Tequila based cocktail. Do you think Paul's getting this treatment? Nah, no. Paul's missing out. Yeah. He's probably getting something. He's getting something, yeah. That was awesome. How nice were they? Uh, they were Amazing. so nice. Yeah, but like they've kept us awake past our bedtime. <laughs> I know. So really, we'd have two hours of sleep. By yeah, now. <laughs> I know. We're never going to get up in the morning. Absolutely fantastic. Just another reason why New Mexico is the the yeah. best state. That's people state. I'm going to state it. I'm going to state it. It is. Sorry, everyone else. You're all close. So it's not like there's a yawning chasm of niceness between states. But yeah, awesome here. So anyway, we're going to go to bed. And I shall see you in the morning. Good night. Good night. Bill? Good night. Good night. <laughs> morning, all packed up, ready to go. Silver City, 35 miles, I think, all on road. Should be an easy day. We have a warm showers host, which will be nice, so we can get cleaned up tonight. I don't know the last time I had a shower. It's a good while ago, though. Can't do it again. That would be three times. Just like back home. <laughs> really? Nah, nah. No. <laughs> That's back home in <laughs> the yeah, It looks good though, it does look nice, I'm not going to play. Ice cream is that way. Oh my god, look at this. You want, a, you want a piggyback ride? It's been crazy yeah. for five minutes. minutes. Are you going to? Yeah. Give me a piggyback. What about John? Well, uh, John's on his own, I guess. <laughs> 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 Bad luck, John. Ice cream for me and Bill. Now after our warm showers, so as per usual, I probably won't film a lot when we're there. I like Silver City. It's got a good uh, vibe going on. Seems like a nice place. So this is where we're set up today, an RV park in Silver City. Yeah, I'm so glad I got a day off today. I think sometimes when you know you've got a day off, your body does relax and that's what's happened. But I'm super relaxed and chilled out. Paul has wine. Paul has wine. Ah, it's bigger. Small. No. <laughs> no, it's bigger. Small. Drop. Stop. That, that's it. Thank you, Paul. Here's to you, Paul. Cheers. Cheers, boy. Wine. Right. Day off done. Just very, very relaxed. I don't know whether I'm tired or whether I'm, I don't know, shutting down because it's getting close to the end. If I am, it's a little early because I've still got 116 miles to go. I feel like this is as far as I could go without having a proper break, you know, three or four days. Think about nutrition more in, in the future. This is all nonsense. I am sorry. I apologize, but I'm going to go to bed. Tomorrow, big day. Back to normal. Toilets. A toaster house. This is the toilet house. It's hot. It's especially hot when you're on the road. Seventeen miles of road riding. We've just got off onto the gravel again. Or sand or mud, whatever you want to call it. It's nice to be off the highway.
We're in the desert. This is more deserty than any other part of the trail and extremely quiet. Thirty-five degrees. And according to this, there's one more climb for the whole trip, which is just almost impossible to imagine. Quick break. Oatmeal cookie, tamale in a bag. I weighed myself two days ago. I'm 11 stone five, and I was 13 stone seven when I left, so two stone and two pounds I've lost. Thirty-nine degrees, according to my wahoo. The desert's hot. There's a convenience store. I hope it's open. In about nine miles, just an ice cold drink. Yeah, I hope it's open. Ice cream. Life is good. Is it hot, Bill, or what? Very hot. Very hot. The happy couple. Second one. More drinks. Sixty five miles. And I think we are on the road the whole way as well. So this is the 32nd and last time that we crossed the Continental Divide. Well, last Continental Divide. Good job. Yeah. 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 Celebration. We're in Hachita. We're at the food mart. How is it, John? Burritos? Chocolate milk. He's got his chocolate milk. Finally. Man's happy. Homemade burritos. So we're staying in the community centre, which is just down the road. It's ten pounds, ten dollars, sorry, per person. Right, so that's it. Eight o'clock. Today was 77 miles, 850 meters of ascent. So a big day really. And uh, I felt it, I'll be honest. But to tomorrow should be easy. I think it's 45 miles and it's the last day which is always a weird feeling, bittersweet. You're pleased to get it done, but sad also. Morning, it's pretty early. I woke up earlier than usual. Can't believe it's the last day. I'll be in El Paso tonight and it'll all be over. I'm trying to think back to when I started how confident I was that I was going to get to the end and I don't really know there's so many things that can happen to put a stop to these things but I'm glad to have made it because a lot of people you know don't I've been very lucky even though you'll say I'm tempting fate but I don't believe in all that so I tempt fate all the time doesn't seem to do me any harm. I think New Mexico is the perfect way to end. I think it's been the most picturesque and the friendliest place. No doubt the hardest, but it does pay you back. It's been incredible. I love this landscape. I think because it's so different to anything you can get in Britain. This trip has been incredible. 
if I were to do it again, I would take longer because I definitely have enjoyed the slower days. I would much rather take my time, stop more, explore more, but I am completely sold on the bike. I've come to the conclusion that hiking is a bit too slow for me and being able to carry so much stuff, more food, more water, is a, a real bonus over hiking. But this trip has been epic, absolutely epic. If you're thinking of doing it, make it happen, honestly. Just phenomenal. So give me a home with the buffalo roam. <laughs> And skies that are cloudy all day. Two miles. I can see it. And here we are. There's the famous sign. Where's the band? Done. We made, it. we made it. Now we gotta do the pictures. Yeah. Right, we're loaded on. We're done. So thank you for watching. It's been incredible the amount of support I've had, the comments I've loved. I've never felt alone. It's been a pleasure uh, filming this stuff, and I've seen so much more and experienced so much more just by looking around, thinking of what I'm gonna film, and yeah, it's been awesome really has i'm so glad i did it and of course i've got a permanent record i can watch whenever i want of the whole trip and i can't wait anyhow thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video thank you